here. So, Alex? Microphone for you. Yeah, and I return the camera. Yes, return the camera, it's magic. So, uh, we're talking with Kate, Kate Tier, a co-founder of TechCrunch and advisor of Cryptarium. First thing first, Kate, why Cryptarium was super successful? You know, I think it was all to do with the team. Uh, the successful ideas need good teams. There are many, many ideas. There are not many, many good teams. So with the, with the founders at Cryptarium, they were experienced in the field. They built products and companies before. Uh, with Austin Kim, they had a Western-facing, English-speaking executive that was able to uh, communicate globally. Um, and through using people like myself, they were able to get to a very, very large audience. I think it helped that they were on ICO Box, which is a great platform for ICOs. Um, the proof was really in, in uh, the 60,000 buyers and more than 300,000 people that became part of the network. But even when you have a great team and you have a great platform, you have to have a vision that captures the imagination. And with Cryptarium, that vision is borderless payments using any cryptocurrency in any store. That's a big idea. Uh, it's going to take a long time to deliver on that idea properly. I remember when Microsoft began, their vision was a PC on every desktop. In 1974, that was a long, long way away from being real. A vision should be like that. It should take years, if not decades, to fulfill. So um, cross-border payments using any crypto with a card in the store, that's a big vision. And I think th those things are the combination of why it worked. Oh, thank you. So uh, let's take a uh, talk about the future. Let's take your crystal ball and just predict what will go on on a crypto end of the year. The end of, the end of 2018. Yeah, 20, 2018. You know, I, I, I would say um, it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, it's like the question, uh, is the United States a successful country? And the answer is it's too early to tell. And the United States uh, has been around for a couple of hundred years. Um, with crypto, honestly, it's too early to tell. Crypto should transform everything. It should transform everything. For that to become real, people have to trust it. It's really all about trust. I don't trust the dollar as much as I trust Bitcoin. Bitcoin may have gone down recently, but guess what? It's up by 7,000% from a year ago, even after it went down. The dollar, it's the same. So uh, I, I trust Bitcoin more than I trust the dollar. If you ask me a year from now, will people trust the dollar more than Bitcoin? Not a chance, no chance. Will Bitcoin be at 20,000 or 100,000 or 3,000? I don't know, but I don't care because Bitcoin is the future and the dollar is the past. So I would say 2018, it's way too close for me to know the exact answer. It's also important to say I don't care because five years from now, crypto will be five to 6% of all GDP worldwide. Today, it's like one half of 1%. Yeah, it's A year small. ago, it was 0 0.01 of 1%. It's going to get a bigger and bigger role in global economics. And that's all you need to know. Um, thank you. So, and the last question, uh, what do you think about uh, the ICO market in this year? So, we, have, we see the big changes. Um, what do you think? So about ICO specifically market. The ICO market is, um, is as volatile as cryptocurrency. Basically, the buyers of ICOs mostly are not thinking long term. They're thinking short term. So they're thinking, if I buy this uh, token, will it go up? Yeah. In the case of Cryptarium, the answer is yes, it did go up. But in some ICOs, no, it, it goes down. Um, because Ethereum and, Bo and, and Bitcoin are currently down, people will be reluctant to sell them in exchange for ICOs unless they believe the ICO will go up. 
So this creates a short-term uh, freezing of okay. the ICO market. But it should be a short-term freezing because the projects that are coming forward are getting better and better. And the quality of ICOs is improving. The quality of the entrepreneurs and the technical people doing ICOs is improving. So you would expect over a reasonable period of time, ICOs will, will be a, a very big part of the funding environment. As a, as a company founder, I'd far rather do an ICO in a bad market than sell my equity in a good market. Because selling equity is really hard even in a good market. Even a bad ICO market is better than selling equity. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Uh, so, thank you for your time. Just, I want to uh, ask my personal question and uh, just switch the camera. No, no, no. Let's go. Let's go. It's like it's always safe here, self here, uh, things. Like, my question, I just listened to you right now, and uh, it's really interesting to know what your passion is about. My it's passion. Like your personal passion. Yeah. My personal passion is globalism. Um, the worst thing about the world in 2018 is nation states. You know, why is it that I'm English and, and he is Ukrainian or Russian and somebody else is French? Why is it that if I'm English, I must use the pound? If you're Russian, you must use the ruble. If you're Chinese, you must use the RMB. This world is dividing us up into small people with their own little papers. Uh, it makes no sense to me. So I'm, my passion is globalism. I want one world, one citizen, uh, one way of spending money. That is my passion. Great. Thank you, Kate. You're welcome. So we just right now, probably like maybe 20 minutes from now, going to do the big observe of our exhibition. So keep in touch. New Economy News with you. Thank you again. Спасибо. До свидания. До свидания.